put that in between your knees and give me a, give me a no turn cast. Okay. Wait to see how feel how good this is. Gym class utility ball. Bought it for five bucks at CBS. Big. Awesome. All right, so just no turn cast. Just like 120 yards. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. See? I like that feeling of being more solid here. Before See, because I... what, ha what happens is, is when your right knee gets, gets um, misbehaves, the hip gets out there too, and then... Right, and when the hip goes this way, everything else has to go this way a little bit. Yeah, and do something nasty. You get that? Yeah, absolutely. Is this also where the, the dead solid pulls come from? Absolutely. When this, that's what I was thinking. Because then your hips have to stall because yeah. they can't continue to rotate. And then when your arms get out in front, they're rolling instead of... Okay. Okay, so do this. I hit like a 100-yard shot, but you stay back, and you get the arms, when you cast it, get the arms really, really forward. And while staying behind you, try to hit it about this high off the Okay, yeah. okay. Let, let, let the hips go. Oh, okay. Don't okay. restrict the hips. Okay. Okay. The ball will already make the knee and the right hip behave. Okay. All right. So hit it. Hit a low one where I'm staying behind it and the arms are getting ahead. Yep. There you go. Just like that. That felt good. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, do that again. Let me let me get the camera so you can see it. Yeah. Feel like you go like this. Throw and then get him way out there. Way out ahead of my body. Correct. Okay. Yeah. See that's come take a look. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Look at how clean this looks at full speed. The sound is totally different as right. well. Yeah. Okay. What that does is it, 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 it allows you to move your hips freely without the right hip getting out too far. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it gives you more room to accelerate your arms out in front of you because you have a tendency to do this. Yep. Okay? Yep. So. All, all that does is, is make that right knee behave, and if the right knee behave, you can't go like, your body just won't work that way. Yeah, you know, right. where the right hip pops out, where the right knee is back, and that's hard to do. Let the hips go free. You know, let them turn all the way through. You don't have to keep yeah, the right knee on. This is not a drill to make your lower body frozen. No, let that right heel come off the ground when the hips rotate. Let it, yep, just like that. See, that's, that's the way you're supposed to swing the golf ball. Okay. That was really good. Now, without the ball. Yeah, never, never do drills for more than three or four reps. You need to translate it. Yeah. And then you start using the, the, the training aid as a crutch. Yeah. So now, like that I'm doing it without the ball, there's really no conscious thought to what I'm doing. Just let the residual effects of the drill. Absolutely. Work. See, that's, that's, good. that's clean right there. Cool. Well, that should take care of the pools then and the the one in 100 shank problem. Yeah, I find it hard to believe that you can hit a shank doing that on purpose. I mean, you couldn't shank it on purpose swinging like that. Right, right. But as soon as that right knee and hip pop out. Forget it. 